Hello everyone and welcome back to my new vlog. Today I'm taking you with me to Biennale. This year's Biennale 2022 is Art Biennale and I was only once in my life in Biennale last year when it was architectural so I don't know what to expect now but I hope I will like it and I will take you everywhere with me as always and of course during this video I will explain a little bit more about it for those of you who don't know so I hope you will enjoy this video and this art exhibition with me. I will show you a big part of the exhibition so if you are coming this year to Biennale and don't want any spoilers better skip this video but if you don't have any chance to come hope this video will help you to feel the atmosphere of Biennale. If you're watching this video I assume you already know what is Biennale in Venice but if you don't it's an international cultural exhibition hosted annually in Venice since 1895 which makes it the oldest of its kind. The main exhibition is held in two parts, Arsenale and Biennale Gardens, and it alternates every second year between art and architecture. So this year is Art Biennale, and it's one of the largest and most important contemporary visual art exhibition in the world, where artists from over 75 countries are represented in the collective exhibition spaces as well as in the national pavilions. This year's Biennale is the 59th international art exhibition titled The Milk of Dreams, and it's open from April 23rd to November 27th of 2022. So if you find yourself in Venice during this period, definitely go and visit. There are also so many pavilions outside of Arsenale and Giardini that you can visit for free, so don't miss that out. They are usually hosted in churches, palaces, galleries or other spaces and it's absolutely worth the visit. As for tickets, if you are interested, they are currently 25 euros or if you are a student, 16 euros and you can visit one time both Giardini and Arsenale. And the good part is that it doesn't have to be on the same day, but I recommend to take at least three to four hours to visit each because the exhibitions are huge. For any other information you can visit their website which I will leave in the caption of this video. First day as you see I visit the Giardini where you can find so many national pavilions and the concept is to go from one to another and observe different things. I personally like the most sculptures or paintings but sometimes videos can be also fun. In general I'm sure you will find something you like if you are art lover.
Good morning everyone and welcome to the second day of this vlog. Today I'm taking you to Arsenale and I hope you're enjoying this exhibition so far. I don't know what to expect from this part but last year when it was Architectural Biennale I preferred Arsenale over Giardini part. So I think that in between these two days it's been like a month or something because in the meantime I had a lot of exams and I did other things but now it's almost time for me to go home so I wanted of course to finish Biennale now even though it lasts until November so I could do it even in October but I wanted to visit everything now and also to put it all in one video for you so let's go hopefully it will be so fun Time to visit Arsenale. At first you see the general exhibition and then the pavilions start one after another located in the big building. Again, there were so many interesting things, but if you want to know more about something, I suggest you to find it online because I didn't have time to read and research everything about each exhibition, only the ones that I found interesting. And it's like that whenever I go to see some exhibition because it's very time consuming to read everything. Thank you. 
after Giardini and Arsenale, I visited a lot of free pavilions and exhibitions, but there are so many things to see and not enough time. So hopefully when I come back in autumn, I will see as much as I can. I will leave you also the link in the caption below if you want to see all locations of this year's Biennale. And keep in mind that you can enter some amazing palaces. In this video, I showed you Conservatory of Music and Franchetti Palace with a view of Grand Canal and Academia Bridge. I absolutely love visiting palaces. So these two were amazing to see. And if you enter, just ask to see the Biennale part that is free because some other parts are closed or you would have to pay to see. So hopefully you will enjoy if you come. So that would be it for this video. I hope you liked it. And if you're not coming to Venice this year, I hope that you felt at least a little bit of atmosphere of this year's Biennale. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in my next video. Ciao.